Right. Yeah, let's do this. What's up, beautiful people? I got my Starbucks going on. I got some white paint. I gotta make some white paint. Take like that and that. You know what? Let's just use the whole thing. Yeah. There's a lot of white paint. As a matter of fact, I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. That way you guys can can see what the hell I'm doing. How's it going, Megan? How's it going, Ruby? How's it going? Uh Su Sweet Tower Art. I'll show you guys. Show you guys what the hell I'm doing today because I'm going bananas. Muy loco. So I got some soft mixing white right here. I'm gonna use this Terminator stuff. El Terminator. I call it the Terminator. It's a it's a tube ringer. Those of you who don't know, look, bam, 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 take that. And then squeeze it all. Okay? Then when it's done, there's still more ways to go. Go, take that. Muy macho, no muy macho. I'm muy macho. And then because I'm I'm crazy like that, right? Because I'm I can't just do like one thing. Bam, bring out number two. Take that. I use a lot of paint, guys. I order these things in boxes. I'm muy local that way. Uh, now everybody does things different, right? Some people are like, dude, you use too much paint. It's my jam. And then I use very little paint in acrylic. When I paint acrylic, I, I use, it's almost, it's almost like a, like a watercolor wash. It's so weird. I don't know why. It works for me. Bam. I'm going to move my coffee away because I don't want any of that close to my coffee face. My coffee away. Out of the way, coffee. I'm stingy with my paint. I love that. You know, you should be. I think that everybody does think, you know, it works different in different ways. This is walnut oil. Now, this thing is expensive. I buy this thing in, in gallons. This thing is expensive. But I'm muy loco that way. I'll, I'll wash it with some. It's like I'm a, like I'm a, like I'm a chef. Tep on chef. The ratio, please, guys, don't ask me. I don't know the ratio. The ratio changes. If it's cold, if it's cold, I got to be careful with it because then it, it hardens. If it's hot, it needs less, depending on the temperature. Um, it's just, you know, it just depends. Then I go like this. You guys are getting a treat here. You guys are getting... Behind the scenes. And then I take out the muy macho one. <laughs> the muy macho one. <laughs> uh, machete. This is like a machete. It's like... It's like tacos. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a... I feel like a, like a chef. Guys, I do this about twice a day with white. Just to give you a... Uh, a little, because I do a lot of a lot of large works too that I don't always record, because uh, there's a lot of work to them. So I'm like, uh, I'm not gonna record it today. Right around, I I do the large works at night, anywhere around, I don't know, eight till midnight. I'm, I start doing the the large works. Those are, uh. Those are usually either commissions or I'm sending them out to to uh, public spaces. So if you're in a city somewhere and you watch one of my works, you're like, dude, I know this guy. This is a guy who uses a lot of paint. I know this dude. Someone someone told me the other day, dude, you're like using so much paint. I don't know how you do it. I'm like. It's very simple, dude. You just gotta keep selling. <laughs> That's why I'm always telling people, like, don't, don't be ashamed of selling your work, guys. There's a lot of artists that are ashamed of selling their work. It's like stupid. It's like, why? It's what we do, you know? Take that. I shamelessly sell the F out of my work. 
Because otherwise I can't continue to produce. And some people don't like this. Some people are like, mm, I don't know. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Maybe you shouldn't be an artist. Maybe you should do something else. I don't know. I'm ranty today. <laughs> I think I'm ranty all the time. Yeah, but I, I, I mean it. You know, maybe, maybe art's not your deal. You know, maybe you don't, you don't, because, because if, if you're going to be an artist, you got to sell work, period. I mean, that's what you do. You know, you got to, you got to show your work. You got to sell your work. You got to, you got to talk about the work. And all of those things are uncomfortable. All of the things that I just, that I just mentioned right now, these are dry spots. I don't know why. They come with them sometimes. I think because the, some of the product sits for a little bit. Now, when, when I order online, it doesn't sit. But when I buy it locally, I'm sorry, local stores. <laughs> uh, Painted Sage Studio says, I love watching you work in oil since I work in acrylic. Gives me a different perspective. Someday I'll paint with oils. Uh, have you tried the lavender oil? I've seen lavender oil. Oh, man, I got to try that. No, I haven't. I haven't tried everything. I gotta do that. Let me write that down. Lavender oil. That's a new one for me. Thanks. Muchas gracias. Walnut oil is expensive. Walnut, walnut oil is about a hundred, a hundred bucks a gallon. Now I understand why some people don't wanna, don't wanna. But then again, everybody paints different, right? Some people paint very thin, very, very cool, very uh, uh Sort of sfumato layers. Uh, what do they call them? Not sfumato, but uh, um, like look how much walnut oil goes into that. Walnut oil is expensive, muy expensive. And the reason I went into walnut oil is because I don't want to be smelling no crappy stuff. I don't want to be smelling solvents. The paint doesn't smell that bad. Paint itself doesn't smell that bad. It's the solvents that you add, and I don't, I don't. I don't dig them. I don't want them around me. I've been painting for over 20 years. I've had it with solvents. I've had it with them. As a matter of fact, at some point, I was looking into going going into, into acrylic just for that reason. And then someone's like, dude, you got to try walnut oil. And I was like, where were you walnut oil this whole time? And that's how I got into walnut oil. But if I would have, if I had not found an alternative oil, you guys would see me painting with acrylic. And I love painting with acrylic because I am shameless with acrylic. I, I understand acrylic. I painted with it my whole life too, my whole whole life. And uh, and I use water. Hell, I even paint with. Um, now this is not this is not something. This is not for the faint of heart. But I paint with latex paint. Some of you have seen me do some, some large works with latex paint. I paint with latex paint because I'm cool like that. Someone asked me about uh, the, what do they call it? Yeah, how long is, 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 is it going to last or whatever? I don't know. I just know that Jackson Pollock painted with, with house paint. And some people are like crying about it today, but the house paint that that we have available today is a much much higher quality. Reason I know that because this muchacho, meaning me, used to be a lacquer and paint technician. I understand paint. I understand its properties, its viscosities. What can you thin it with? How can you play with it? And on and on and on. And my specialty was acrylic paints, latex paints, acrylic paints, all that kind of stuff. It used to come through me before it went to the stores. I used to look at it, test it. I mean, we, we would run long tests on it. And then until finally I got, I got in charge of the department and, and uh, I was doing the whole deal myself. I was training other kids, other dudes, other muchachos and muchachas, older people, younger people. I was training them how to do it. And I realized one thing, man, this takes time. It takes time to develop an understanding of paint. Paint is tricky. Paint is a tricky, tricky beast. 
And that's how I got into painting with acrylic. I mean, I've always painted with acrylic, but that's how I got to like really do it and understand uh, uh, painting with latex and acrylics and doing glazes with all kinds of stuff. Glazes with uh, uh, varnishings that are for furniture, not for paint. Because it's, essentially it's the same thing, guys. It's just that art, art, art companies, uh, not to offend any art company out there, uh, they spend uh, time with a dude like me testing this stuff on artwork. And I did the same thing. I would test it on furniture, artwork. And I wasn't the first one testing it, of course. I took someone else's job. Someone had already been doing it for, I don't know, 50 years or whatever. So, paint is paint, guys. The base of paint, the solids, the aggregates, or whatever you call them, that hold it together. Uh, well, that that's a little different. The pigment of the paint, the pigment itself, which is the paint itself, right? The powder, that's a different thing. So, it's simple. It's not that complicated. You just, you just gotta start playing with it. Oil paint, I've been doing it for a long time. So oil paint, oil paint is something that I, it's close to my heart. I understand it. I understand how it changes in temperature. I understand, I, I, I painted so much with it. I've definitely put my 10,000 hours with it. If not more. I understand what it does. I understand how it reacts. And the drying times, each each color has different drying times, for those of you who don't know. Uh, so that's why that's why I went on a rant right now on don't ask me about ratios of the oil of the oil because it doesn't make any sense. Ha, there's so many things that, that have to do with it. If you live in a cold state, it's gonna react different. If you live in a humid state, it's going to react different. If you're depending on the on the oils you're using, on the on the solvents you're using, depending on the on the canvas, depending on the yeah the canvas tooth, right, and also depending on the on the gesso, right, on the gesso that you're putting on, it depends on, on different it's different factors. So that's why I don't pay attention to it. It's, it's, it's so many different factors that, that affect you. So. I think it's time for us to take care of business and do a painting, right? Let's do this. Bam. All right. Yeah. Pop, 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 chica, pop. Let's do this. Get my workout right here. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Paint, paint something cool, something awesome. I paint. I paint a sort of urbany, awesome scene. Let's put a happy little house right here, maybe. Okay. There's a trick to this, guys. The trick is is def definite, but not, but not fast. Okay. But I mean, definite is that is that. You do something, okay, and then you move. You notice how I don't, I don't do this, and I don't do this, and I don't do this. I don't do this, you know? No, it's definite. It's like, okay, and then you come back, and then you move to the next. This is this is the way I do this jam, okay? This Lucky Charms jam. Lucky Charms jam, okay? So, those of you who get confused, I'm telling you exactly how I do it. That way you don't get confused. Because I know some people get confused when I talk about this. They're like, what do you mean? It's it's very simple. It's just, you kind of have to let go. I'm trying to teach you how to paint because I know a lot of you are master painters. I'm just trying to tell you, look, if you want to loosen up a little bit, this is how I do it. I touch it, see? Touch it. Here's another one of my little tricks. Okay? 
And I'm going to cover this in extensively in my art classes that I'm coming up with. I don't go back and forward so much. I don't know if you're paying attention to what I'm doing, but I stay in the vicinity. I stay close to the canvas. So, for example, if I'm doing this, right, I don't go. You know, there's a difference. I don't do this. I don't pull back. That, it's like aiming, you know? It's like aiming. Those of you who, who like, uh, I don't know, sports where you have to aim. <laughs> it, you, keep, you keep it out. It's out. So if I'm doing this, look, this is how I do it, okay? Look, you see? It stays there, you see? The brush doesn't leave the canvas. The vicinity of the canvas, it does it. Because if it does, then I have to re-engage. And if I re-engage, I've lost attention. Oh, do that dog. It's okay, Sonic. It's okay, Sonic. It's all right. You see, I don't leave, I don't leave the canvas. This is a huge golden nugget, guys, because a lot, a lot of people don't, don't know that. Keep the connection, exactly. Painted Sage Studio said it perfectly. You keep the connection. Because if you unplug, it's harder to re-engage. Now, now you start thinking, and you start thinking you ain't doing it right anymore. I'm sorry to say that. That's just how I do it. You know, you keep the connection. See, I keep touching it. Even though I ain't doing anything to it, I don't want to disconnect from it. Because if I do, a lot of artists don't do it like that. A lot of artists do it from here. They, they do it imaginary. I don't like to do it imaginary. Okay? No, I actually touch the damn thing. I like to touch it. Even if I'm doing the wrong thing, I go back and I, I like to touch it. Because if I'm touching it, it keeps, there's, it's almost like electricity. I'm keeping a connection. That's the best way. I've never heard anyone say that. I know it's, it's simple. I should have thought about it first. <laughs> Are you feeling competitive? I am extremely competitive. Painted Safe Studio to set it better than I would. <laughs> My wife is laughing. <laughs> I've had too much matcha tea today. Yeah, too much matcha tea? Yeah. Oh man, that's why you're laughing, huh? Too much matcha tea. Yeah, I'm extremely competitive. Like if someone's like, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna work harder than you, I'm like, no you're not. Alright. I'll start going bananas. It's healthy competition. Dude, no, painted painted such studio is uh awesome. Just, just by, just by saying that, I'm like, oh man, I should have said that. Should have thought about saying that. <laughs> I'm just joking, a little bit. <laughs> you see, but you keep the, keep the connection, keep it going. Okay, I go and I get more paint, but I also keep it going. I run out of this paint right here before I go get more. Okay, I run out of the paint, even though the color's not right. Man, I'm giving you guys massive info right here that a lot of a lot of artists are not willing to share. I'm more local that way. I'll share it. Cause because at the end of the day, everybody's gonna use it differently. That's why. At the end of the day, everybody paints differently. I mean, paintings end up looking very similar, but the approach is different. I know you guys you guys have noticed that. Everybody's like, I'm so different, I'm so different, I'm so different. No, you're not. But the approach is different. The approach, the approach is the approach is what matters, because that's how you connect with the artwork and it's how you connect with the audience. So there you go. Look, bam. You see? <laughs> I love that. I'm good at picking your intention. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> You know who's, who's good too? Walker. Walker's really good. I haven't seen Walker in a little bit. I think I, last time I saw him was where? The day before yesterday, was it? Walker's good at, 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 at finishing my sentences because I'm like, uh, I get stuck. I'm like, uh. See? So there we have it. Look. Simple. Simplicity. See? I, I try not to disengage from it because if I do... If I do, I have to go think about it all over again. And the times that I disengage, okay, are only to go get more paint. They're only to go get more paint, to mix paint. And even then, it's a bad idea. 
I know it sounds weird, but it is a bad idea for for uh, intuitive painting or or any sort of loose brush. It's a every time you disengage, it's a bad idea. So what I do when I disengage is I keep the movement on my palette as well because because there's it's like this motor you cranked up and you have to keep moving it. You have to keep moving it. Okay. Now I'm not saying that this is the right way of doing it. This is my way of doing it. My way or the highway. Yeah. <laughs> this is just how I, Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, likes doing stuff. And this is how I draw too. So pay attention to how you draw because more than likely how you draw is how you paint. Okay? Pay attention to how you draw because you will find out that there, there, there's a huge connection. That's why, uh, what was his name? The, the French guy, Ingre, or Angre, or however you pronounce his name. Uh, the neoclassicist, I think he was a neoclassicist painter. Uh, he used to say, he used to say it was all tied to your drawing. And I believe that cat. It is all tied to your drawing. How I draw, I've noticed that how I draw is how I paint. And I've noticed that other people too, how they draw is how they paint. So make sure that you are paying attention to how you draw because you may be missing, you may be missing certain things that you do, certain cool things that you do when you draw. And if you apply them on your paint, uh, it might be even cooler. I don't know. Like I notice when I, when I draw, I notice how I jump. I make jumps. I don't stay in one place. I'm not like, oh, let's, let's take care of this eyebrow, right? If this is a portrait. Uh, I, I, I don't do that when I draw. I jump. It's like if I'm in a buffet and all I'm doing is trying stuff. I'm like, oh, let me try this. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh, let's see what this tastes like. It, even the, the impressions didn't really do that a lot. The impressions would, would, would do the little dabs, but they would stay in, in a single area. And then once that was sort of finished, right, to their liking, to their understanding or whatever, they would move to another area. I don't do that. I, 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 I like to, as a matter of fact, I've been missing on the sky, right? Talking about this right now. That's why I don't, that's why I don't think when I paint. So I'll miss out on it. I'll go to the sky. The sky. You know? And instead of trying to finish that, I'll jump to the next part. You guys are getting a super awesome free class right here. Like, it's, it's like super cool. <laughs> free class. <laughs> it really is, guys. Like, I know artists who will, will never talk about their process. And I'm like, you guys are crazy. Like, what are you guys afraid of? I'm talking about your process. Some artists have told me, you say too much, man. And I'm like, oh, I know I talk a lot. No, like you say too much info. I'm like, duh, dude, of course. It's the way you do it. You, you, you. He's, like, he's like, you got to charge for that. I'm like, dude, I'm not charging for that. I give away. Check it out. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that. My way or the highway. Isn't it cool? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's sweet. Now, sometimes I'll come in with a different brush, okay? And when I'm on fire, and the way to be on fire is to be extremely plugged in, I believe. Extremely plugged in for days and extremely plugged in in the moment. When I'm on fire, like uh, what's what's that uh, that girl saying from uh, uh, Katniss, the girl on fire? <laughs> when I'm on fire, uh, I don't even think of the colors. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys right now. Even picking up the colors is extremely intuitive. Especially when I'm on fire. There's nothing to there's nothing that matters. Like nothing matters. Because it's it's you're in right action mode. You see, you, you know so well 
for you, right? For you, what you're supposed to do and what you're doing. That that even even cherry picking colors is not the right action. It's so weird, but it is. It happens that way. And I experience those moments quite often. And when I'm not experiencing them, I get a little sad. Because I know what's going on. I know I'm in my head. I'm thinking about like payments or I'm thinking about, you know, I don't know, other stuff. Thinking about like business or, or you know, some sour thing or something. Check it out. Bam. And then I'll use I'll use the same brush. With happy little people walking around there. They're like, hey, what you guys doing? Where are you going? I don't know. You know, just my my type of painting is suggesting. Okay? I'm suggesting stuff. I'm not I'm not out. Because because it's it's so um, there's speed to it, right? In decision making, not necessarily the speed. A lot of people a lot of people have told me you paint so fast, you paint so fast. How do you do it? I don't think I paint fast. I think my decision to stop or to keep going is what's fast. It's not the painting itself. The painting itself is not that fast. If you pay attention to it, the painting itself is not that fast. It's the decision that is fast. Like, I make a quick decision on the color. I make a quick decision on, on when I'm stopping with one of these little, these little people, right? I make a decision of where I'm placing the next one. The, the decision is the fast one, but not, not the, the painting itself is not. I'll, 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 stay, uh, I, I'll stay there for a while. And the more I stay there, um, as long as as long as I don't need to move to the next decision, I get extremely quick. Like I don't know if I'm saying this right, if I'm making any sense, guys. It's the decision. I know. I know. I, I always talk about speed. I, I talk about speed in marketing. I talk about, but it's it's not necessarily that you're so fast. That's not going to help you. You could be a, a speed painter. It's not. It's not going to help you. It, it, what helps you is is the decision. Like the decision has to be lightning fast. You have to, you have to make quick decisions. For example, if I'm painting like this, I take my time, right? Take my time. But when I'm ready to move, the decision has to be so fast. When I'm ready to use another color, okay? I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving you guys massive content here. I know that I know a lot of people don't even know what I'm talking about nor care. But as an artist, this this would have been gold for me when I was starting out or mid career. The decision of moving is where the gold is. You need to move. Okay, so you, 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 you slowly do your brush stroke, but the next one, the decision to do the next one has to be fast. And for that, you need to have confidence. And again, the word confidence comes from the word what? Confidere, no? I think it's to, to trust. In, in, order to, in order to trust, you have to have practice in. There's the only way. You will not trust yourself unless you put in your time, unless you put in practice. Practice, 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 practice will give you the confidence. Okay, Look at all those things. Where are you going? I gotta go. Um... Oh, yeah? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay I'll see you. So it's 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 the power isn't moving to the next step. The power is not it's not. Oh my God, you paint so fast, awesome. That's why when people tell me, why are you charging me that if you did the painting so fast, you, guys, you don't even have an idea why I'm charging, whatever I'm charging for commission or whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some videos on that. Uh, the reason why I'm charging what I charge for my commissions or whatever. It's not because I, it, 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 because people have told me, you paint so fast, why do you do it? Kind of like what Picasso got asked. Picasso got asked the same question. Look, it took me 20 years to finally develop the confidence of painting and moving quick to the next part of the painting. That's what I'm charging for. I, I, it's, it, it's the practice to develop the confidence, to know what I'm doing, to trust myself. 
it's not it's not that that you see I'm touching it and I'm moving it's not that I'm painting so fast I'm touching it and then I'm moving it looks it may look fast oh my god it looks fast but it's not fast it's not fast at all and, and again as a matter of fact every time that I'm fast with the brush stroke if I'm fast with the brush stroke I usually, I usually, I'm in, in an anxiety or in a, not anxiety, but, a, but a, like a, like a, I'm not trusting myself. I'm not trusting myself. If my brush stroke is like, it's like this, I'm not really, and I stay in the same place, I'm not really trusting myself. This is something for you to pay attention if you do that. I've, I've, I've learned this from years of experience, guys. I've learned this thing in, in painting. If, if you're fast, fast mean, means move, make a decision. That, that's that's how people in big places, in corporations or whatnot, that's how they get paid. They don't get paid for, for they get paid for the fast decisions because they're able to make quick decisions when everybody else sits there. And and I think that there's power in speed. That's why I always say there's power in speed. But I'm not talking about speed of your painting. I'm talking about speed of decision. Okay, you made a brush stroke. Okay, cool. It's done. What what do you need to do with it? You you don't you need to polish it again. It's that the brush stroke is done. Move to the next brush stroke. Okay, this is what many of us do. We do a brush stroke and we're not satisfied with it, and we keep playing with the same brush stroke, and we and we keep working with that little line, and we're like I don't know. Ah. And then so you're missing the whole painting, right? Now this is this doesn't apply to every type of painting. This is, I'm talking about I'm talking about loose brush work intuitive type of foul based expressionist impressionistic type of work okay i can't say that for everything else because because it, it just doesn't if you're painting hyper realism you need to stay there until it looks what it needs to look like it's different but i'm not interested in that type of painting i'm interested in this type of painting it's what it's what feels my my soul and it's what i practiced so that brush stroke is done. Okay, what to do next? Okay, so, so what happens is that you start cutting the fat out. The BS, you start cutting it out. For example, another thing that I, I, lose, I lose focus on is what's the next color. So again, when I'm on fire, right, meaning that I've been putting in my time, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even consider the color because I'm operating with, I'm operating with with lights and darks and 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 I'm operating with with cool colors and, and warm colors and midtones. So I'm operating under a whole different set of rules. Not necessarily, well, why is yellow there? Why not? You know, why why can't it there be yellow there? Right? Same thing as why is blue here? Why not? Okay? But if you stay there, you're gonna start thinking about it. And you're going to try to erase it or you're going to try to move from it. So what I do, rather than do that, this is, this is how I believe, I believe life works this way. Actually, the rest of life. If I stay here, if you tell me something, if you're in a relationship or friendship or whatever, you talk about something, you start thinking about it, it will become monumental. So I don't let it become monumental. I'm giving you guys one of my most awesome, probably this is probably the best, the best thing I've ever talked about in any of my videos. Instead of sitting on it, I move on to the next thing, okay? Because if I sit with it, it will start bothering me. I'm going to start looking at what I did wrong or what I could have done better. And I believe that that is the problem even in living life. I move on. I make a decision. I say, for better or worse, here's a decision. I'm not going to sit with it. I'm going to move on. So that's how I do it. And then you, you can actually also overwork paintings this way. So I try not to. Because it, it's all about cutting the BS. That's why that's why Picasso said it best than anyone else. I've never heard anyone said it best than Picasso. He said painting is the removal of the unnecessary. I would actually re-say, I would, I would, I would re-say that if that's even a word. Uh, I would say that again in different words. I would say painting. Right? <laughs> I, I would use the same words, but painting is the removal of the bullshit. You have to remove the bullshit. Like, 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 oh, 
Oh, the, the, the window, the window, the window. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's bullshit, you know? Let's, there it is. Done. Next thing. Right? And then, oh, here's another little lesson for you guys. For those of you guys who like what I'm doing. Oh, what, what color should I use? Okay, yellow. Okay, okay. No, that's, that's not dark enough. That's not dark enough. Uh, uh, oh no, it's it's too light. It's too light. Oh my god, it's too light. What what do I do? Should I add a little bit of red? I don't know. And then we start doing this kind of shit. Like look at it and we're like, oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I'm making fun of it, even though I'm using my cool voice. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to sh I'm trying to shine a little bit of light because I know that's where we start. We all start somewhere, right? I I used to do this, and when I'm not trusting myself, I still do this. I, I there's still days that I do this kind of stuff. And then I have to remind myself, this is bullshit, man. It's bullshit. That's not how it works. Dude, dip the paint there if you want to. I don't know. Move, right? You, that's why you guys see me use the back end of the brush. Like, move. Because, because if you look at it, you will find something you hate. Because it's, you're, you're prematurely... You're prematurely judging the piece. You know, you're prematurely judging the piece. And that is the problem. As an artist, that's what we do. We prematurely judge the piece. And it is not fair to you. And it is not fair to the painting. It's unfair. Just like it's unfair to prematurely judge someone when you just meet, meet them. Or prematurely or judge someone based on something they said. Judge the whole character based on a fucking sentence. No, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, wait a minute, let me see the whole character. Let me see the whole thing. Let me put it on, 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 on. If, if you're, if you're even going to judge the situation, the person, the whatever, let me see the whole thing. And that's how I approach painting. I want to see the whole thing. Not just, not just one aspect of it. This is how I do my paintings. Uh, I, I want to see the whole thing. I, 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 I can't judge my painting from this corner or that or this building. Or, oh, man, I didn't do this building right. I don't care. Does it tie in with the rest of the thing? Good. Good is good enough. <laughs> I hope I made any sense for anyone out there. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Uh, don't mind my, my ranting. Don't mind my occasional occasional bad words. Uh, it's... Uh, I, I, I like to drive my points home. And it's really for me, guys. When Every time I do a video, I'm very selfish like that. <laughs> I remind myself a lot and it, of things that I need to do and, and, and my process. And I think that, that maybe someone else that is watching, you know, maybe someone else other than me, might actually also it might benefit the person as well. I don't know. I don't know. I use it almost as a diary. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. As I'm talking here on the camera and I'm, I'm, I'm painting... For me, it's almost like a diary. It's like I'm writing things down in my subconscious as I'm talking. So thank you so much, guys. Look at that mountain of white. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so these are the colors that I use, guys. For those of you who are interested in the colors, knowing the colors, this is soft mixing white. This is thalo blue. It's oil paint, okay? This is viridian. This is a hue, okay? Meaning it's a, it's a bit lighter. I love that. Thank you so much, Painted Sage Studio. And yeah, guys, please uh, let me know what you guys think because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be reading your comments here. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys like it, hate it. If, uh, I don't know, if you feel like giving it a heart, give it a heart. <laughs> this is cat yellow pale. This is cat uh, red, deep, deep red. Okay, this is dioxysum purple. This is magenta. This is Mars Black. Sometimes, no, this is, yeah. No, is it? No, it's, it's Lamp Black, not Mars. I'm sorry. I don't like using Mars Black. I forgot. I like using Lamp Black. It's less gooey. Lamp, Lamp. Uh, Mars Black is more gooey. Lamp Black is less gooey. And I, I, don't, I don't like that gooeyness in the paint. I, I don't. It's just not my thing. Uh, I know some of the, 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 uh, 
Russian impressionists, Russian impressionism, they 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 they, they do that, and and it looks really cool. I just don't know how to use it. I've never used it. What I mean by GUI is that is that uh, I don't know if it's the if it's the oil. I'm assuming it's the oil, and some of the colors, uh, some of the some of the colors are a bit gooey. I don't know why. I, I still haven't put my finger on it, and and like this one looks gooey, but it almost looks buttery. I would I would call it buttery rather than gooey, and I think it's the effect of the oil. I'm almost positive that it's the effect of the oil. Uh, some some uh, some other artists use alkaline, I think alkaline Walmart oil too, and it looks gooey. It, 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 so it, but it works for them. It looks wonderful. It's just it's just not my thing. So, anyways, I went on a side note there. So there you guys have it. Messy, just like how just just how I like it. Messy. There's the impressionistic effect. Let's do the impressionistic effect. Let's put it in. We're like, oh, what's going on? What is that? And then we go, bam, baby. And then now it looks, you know, like what it's supposed to look like. Freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for the love. Uh, I will be posting this painting on eBay. I'm going to post it as a 99 cent auction just because I'm cool like that. And, oh, one more thing, I've opened eBay to a bunch of different countries. So those of you who are like, uh, I don't know, England, France, Germany, Canada, it's a bunch of different countries now. Go check it out. I finally opened my auctions to different countries. And uh, I was holding off on that because, uh, because uh, shoulda, coulda, woulda. But I did it now. So there it is. So if you're like, I don't know, some... Some other country other than the states. Let me know also if if I'm not open to your country, so that we can arrange something. I don't know, open it or or whatever, figure something out. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Adios, amigos. Much love. Goodbye.